Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. Let's create a composition with full HD settings. Set the duration to 6 seconds. Alright, now take the type tool and type your text. Align it to the center, also adjust the size according to your need. Now select the text layer, click on the animate button, and select tracking. Now click on this add button, and bring the position and opacity property on out text. Change the position of the text like this. And set the opacity value to 0. Now, open range selector, go to the first frame, and add a keyframe on end. Then go forward to a few frames, and change the value to 0. Now I think you guys understand why I add these properties. Alright, now easy ease the keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. I have a shape for this project. You can get that with the project file in the description. Let's bring that on our timeline. Go to effects and presets and search for fill. Double click to apply it. Change the color to the text color. Quickly adjust its position. Also, adjust its size according to your text. By the way, you can use this type of animation for making lower thirds. Now without selecting any layer, take the rectangle tool and create a shape like this. Place this rectangle under our image. Then change the track mat to alpha mat. By doing this, your object can be visible only when it's inside this shape area. Now select the text layer and open transform. First place the shape like this. Then add a keyframe on position. Then go forward to few frames and drag the shape just like these. Go forward 1 to 2 frames and add a keyframe on position on that same value. Then go forward to almost 30 frames and drag the shape on the right, just like this. Nice. Easy ease the keyframes. Alright, now type your second text. Adjust its size and position. Also, change the color to white. Now, select the text layer and create a mask like this. Then add a keyframe on mask path. Then come back to a few frames and drag the mask path to the left, just like this. Take your time to adjust the keyframes. Also, easy ease the keyframes. Alright, now take the rectangle tool and create a box like this. Turn on the stroke and turn off the fill. Adjust the box position. Rename the layer for better layer management. Now, 
Select the layer and click on this Add button, then select Trim Paths. Open Trim Paths 1. And change the start value to something like 98. And offset value to minus 7. Just make sure that little bar should be on the top of the last letter. Because we are going to animate this little bar with the other texts. Now go to the very first frames and add a keyframe on offset. Then go to the end of the first text animation and change the offset value to something like this. Now we change the value after time to time according to our animation. Just like this. Now at the end, we keep the bar like this. Because we are going to add different animation here. Till now, it looks good to me. Now at last keyframe, add a keyframe on start. Then go forward to 10 frames and change the start value to something like this. Just make sure it looks like this. These values can be different for you, so I am not mentioning my exact values. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. You can change the stroke, butt cap to round cap. Now select the other four layers, right click on it, and pre-compass them. Nice. Now rectangle tool and create a shape just like this. Make sure your shape can cover the composition size, also turn on the fill. Now place the shape layer, just over the composition layer. And change the track mat of composition to the alpha inverted map. Now select the composition layer, and hit P to bring position. Add a keyframe on position, at 4 seconds. Then go forward to 30 frames and drag the composition just like this. Easy ease the keyframes and change the graph something like this. Cool. Now select the line animation layer and open trim paths. Add a keyframe on end property, then go forward to 5 frames and change the end value to the same as start value. So it disappears after a few frames. Just like this. Easy ease the keyframes and we are done. Press the spacebar to ramp review it. By the way, you can use different shapes and texts. Just think outside the box and be creative. Let's wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.